Luna, we're going to read a book about spiders now. You want to help us? No, you'd like to eat one, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you've just seen a short video that compared insect and spider bodies. Because we're starting to talk about spiders and a lot of people confuse them with insects and they're not. So let's start off by learning some more about spiders. This is called The Diary of a Spider. It's a funny book and it's got really great illustrations written by Doreen Cronin and the pictures are by Harry Bliss. But it also has some real information about spiders too. March 1st. Today was grandparents' day at school, so I brought grandpa with me. He taught us three things. Spiders are not insects. Insects have six legs. Number two, without spiders, insects could take over the world. Why is that? What do spiders do? Yeah, they eat insects. Number three, butterflies taste better with a little barbecue sauce. March 16th. Grandpa says that in his day, flies and spiders did not get along. This is a piece of a newspaper from a long time ago. It says, spiders and flies rumble in the city. Rumble means to fight. Things are different now. That spider's friend fly up there. Look, he's giving him a toe. This is awesome! Because do spiders have wings? They do not. Today in gym class, we learned how to catch the wind so we could travel to faraway places. And the gym teacher is saying, next. Does that look like Mr. Grouch? When I got home, I made up flashcards so I could practice. Number one says, climb high. Number two says, release silk. That's the string that they make from their bodies. Number three, catch wind. Fly made up her own flashcard. Number one, fly. I'm starting to see why Gramps doesn't like her. Her job's a whole lot easier than the spiders, isn't it? Went to the park with my sister today. We tried the seesaw. Yeah, it didn't work. Can you see one sitting on each of the handles? Why didn't it work? Yet they just don't weigh enough to move that big thing. We tried the tire swing. It didn't work. Can you see him sitting on the tire? Same reason, didn't work. Yeah, they're just too little. We spun a huge sticky web on the water fountain. That worked. What were they trying to do? Look at the girl's face. Yeah, they were trying to scare her. She goes, eek! Yeah, that worked. Today was safety day at school. Oh, I'm sorry, April 12th. Today was safety day at school. We learned that vacuums eat spider webs and are very, very dangerous. If I hear a vacuum, we should stop, drop, and run. What's that sound a lot like? Something you're supposed to practice just in case it happens. It's a lot like people practice if there's a fire. If you catch a fire, you stop, drop, and roll to put out the fire. April 13th. We had a vacuum drill today. I stopped what I was doing. I forgot where I was going and ran screaming from the room. We're having another drill tomorrow. He's saying, hey! I don't think he's ready for a vacuum drill yet. April 17th. I'm sleeping over at Worm's house tonight. I hope they don't have leaves and rotten tomatoes for dinner again. And the worm is saying, more leaves, spider? Yeah, what do spiders eat? Yeah, they eat insects and other spiders sometimes. May 7th. Mom said I was getting too big for my own skin, so I molted. That's when you when the insect actually, or insect, this is not, some, some insects do it. Um, that's when the spider takes off the outer layer, of, outer, outer layer of skin because it has grown a new skin underneath. And, and worm is saying, that's so gross. Remember, spiders and insects have an exoskeleton, so their skin is not like our skin. It's very tough and strong. And the new one keeps building up while they're growing underneath. It keeps building up underneath the old one while they're growing. May 8th. Today was show and tell. So I brought in my old skin. My teacher called on it during the Pledge of Allegiance. And she's saying, you there, why don't you get us started? And she's talking to the old skin. It's not even a spider anymore. June 5th. Daddy Longlegs made fun of Fly because she eats with her feet. 
Now he won't come out. Now she won't come out of her tree house. What a cool tree house that is. Look at that. I'm going to find him and give him a piece of my mind. What does that mean when you give someone a piece of your mind? It means you tell them what they did wrong. Tell them what you think. June 6th. I found Daddy Longlegs. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I gave him a piece of my lunch instead. June 7th. Fly's treehouse blew away in the wind. So did Grandpa. June 18th. I got a, post a postcard from Grandpa today. Dear Spider, ooh la la, I landed in Paris. French bugs are delicious. Au revoir. That's French for goodbye. Grandpa. And he taped the leg of a French gnat. He says, give it a try. He taped the gnat leg to the postcard. June 30th. Grandpa came home today. Couldn't wait to hear about how he rode the winds all the way over the ocean. Turns out, he caught a breeze to the airport and napped in first class. He took a plane to France. July 2nd. Fly came over to play today. She got stuck in our web and her mom had to come get her. Fly is saying, hi, mom. You can see Spider and his mom are trying to get Fly out. Why does the Fly mom look so upset? Well, yeah, because when insects are usually caught in spider webs, they're going to be food. Grandpa laughed a little too hard. From now on, we have to play at Fly's house. Why is that? Why do they have to play at Fly's house? Yeah, because that's safe for Fly there. Today was my birthday. Grandpa decided I was old enough to know the secret to a long, happy life. Look at the picture. What do you think the secret is for a spider? Never fall asleep in a shoe. What could happen to a spider if it fell asleep in the shoe? What happens? What would happen if you put your foot in the shoe? Yeah, it could get squished. July 16th. It's the things I scare. Number one, Fly's mom. Take a good look at spider and fly. What's wrong with fly? Why is mom looking so scared? He's all wrapped up in the spider silk as if he was going to be food. And Butterfly is saying, it wasn't his fault, Mom. I don't know how that happened by accident, though. He also scares, number two, tiny bugs. And number three, people using water fountains at the park. Remember what they do at the water fountain, he and his sister? They put spider webs on it. July 17th, things that scare me. Number one. Daddy long legs. Number two, vacuums. Number three, people with big feet. What's wrong with people with big feet? What could they do? Yes, yeah, stop on ya. August 1st. I wish that people wouldn't judge all spiders based on the few spiders that bite. I know if we took the time to get to know each other, we would get along just fine. Just like me and Fly. So this is a really important point right here. Do all spiders bite? Because some people are afraid of that. No, just a few spiders that do. Most of the ones that we have around us and around our house don't. So I have an assignment for you today. I want you to draw a picture of a spider and a picture of an insect. It could be any kind of spider and any kind of insect. I just Showing you a picture here of a spider, and I put a few insects here. Remember what this one is called? That's a grasshopper, and you recognize this one, the honeybee, and yes, an ant. So we have, here I have a spider, a grasshopper, ant, bee. You can choose any kind of spider, any kind of insect, one of each. I want you to draw them in your journal. And I want you to make sure you're showing and labeling the body parts. How many body parts? How many wings do they have? How many antenna? And how many legs? So I should see each of these things if that animal has it. Now, does a spider have body parts? Of course it does, but how many? 
I gotta make sure I see those. Does the spider have wings? Take a look at the picture. Does the spider have antenna? Look at the picture. Does the spider have legs? Of course it does. How many? Make sure you see them and make sure they're coming out of the right part of the body. They're in the cephalothorax, the front part of the body, not the back. Both with insects and with spiders, all the legs come out of one part of the body. Now, when you draw your insect, make sure you show how many body parts it has. How many wings? Do all insects have wings? No, but does yours? How about antenna? How about legs? How many legs does an insect have? Make sure you show those. And draw those two pictures. One spider, one insect, any kind of insect, doesn't have to be one of these. And take a picture of it and put it in your portfolio. Thanks.